Hey guys, Sam right here, playing some Kingdoms of Amalar Reckoning, and you may notice I, uh, my character looks a lot different now, well, maybe not a lot, but uh, got these cool new weapons and a few new pieces of armor here. Um, last time I left off on episode, or part 5, I want to say, and I had actually stopped capturing my episodes for a while. Um, I just wasn't getting the views I would have liked to, but uh, I kind of just saved my uh, that particular save file, set it aside just in case I wanted to come back, and I was doing some... I continued that playthrough on a different save, so now I'm uh, level 10 here, and I have all these new items and lots more gold, and uh, I decided to... Just start up from here, maybe make it more interesting now that I'm kind of getting to like the uh, the better quests and such to kill, you know, the bosses or the named um, monsters or people and going into more dungeons and stuff now. So, um, there's probably not uh, a lot of you that have watched all my episodes that are following it, interesting. but You're not at all what I, I kind of just... Here. Cue to cut scene here. Ooh, okay. So I, uh, before I started this, I put it on the main quest. I was doing a lot of side quests as I was leveling up. And I don't even think, this is probably still like the second or third quest in the main storyline. So in terms of like the main story, I have not made it far at all. I've just been running around doing side quests. I just came into the house needing to find uh, Arden, who's another Fate Weaver, and uh, apparently this chick is standing over his dead body, so uh, let's see what she has to say here. Oh, Come on, let me choose it. the name there of this Fate Weaver? No, the Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Okay, so apparently she isn't the one that killed him, is what she's telling us here. Uh, if I didn't let's go with this. Why didn't she save him? I was tracking them. This fate weaver wasn't worth losing valuable information. But the two Arthur are still on the move. I must go. I'm certain we will see one another again soon. So, uh, what race is she then? Because oh, smoke bombs. Apparently, she's a uh, part ninja. Here's Agarth. Let's see what he's got to say here. How did this happen? Looks like he's pretty shocked. Uh, looks like if so, Cal. I sure didn't see her. Tell him this chick was, I was here. I to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. The hell is Delok? It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake. Hey asshole, I didn't do it. Stand back up, me. talk to me here. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But we're going to have to go to Delok. Maybe something there can tell me why I can't see. Just your seemed face. like he was trying to blame that shit on me here. He died before his time, but I can't imagine many tears will be shed for him. You tell enough futures, and soon you won't have any friends. Yeah, whatever, man. Get going. I'll meet you there. So I guess another good thing is. Uh... As I've been leveling up, I, you know, you guys won't have to sit there and watch me uh, try to pick what abilities I want. I've just pretty much been going uh, full uh, rogue build here, just upgrading like the damage of my my bow and my special attacks and my fey blades and daggers. Which is uh, these are fey blades. I used to have daggers, but uh, 
They seem like they do a little more damage. They're a little slower, but uh, I like them better. They look more like rogue weapons. Go ahead and uh, loot all this crap. Probably some interesting stuff in here. Maybe. This is the only... Oh, here's a cabinet I can loot. Okay, so... Just come out here. Is this going to force me to go with him now? I'm sure he'll be out here waiting. Oh, maybe not. So there's just tons of side quests. Every, uh... Every town I was going into, there's at least three or four. Not to mention, like, just the random quest givers on roads and stuff. I was actually doing quite a bit of them. Just getting a ton of EXP and going into dungeons and stuff. Uh, okay, what are we on here? Speak with that guy, can you hide him? Need Agarth at Delic, okay. So, let's take a look at our map here. Wow, that's way friggin' over there. Alright, well, I guess we'll uh, make the journey. We'll go ahead and fast travel to Webwood here. You can actually buy a house here, uh, which I did. You kinda had to do, like, the little storyline first. Um,. Pretty much, it was getting invaded by, like, spiders, and, uh, the guy at the time asked me to kind of go out and, uh, retrieve this guy, or try to find him. He was, like, in a cave. He's kind of their top military guy, strong hand, and, uh, once I went to find him, you know, some, you kind of found out some stuff where this guy, Barton, says he thought he was kind of weird because the spiders are like waiting for him and you just find these journals around the dungeon that were saying there's just some mysterious stuff going on like the spiders were waiting and like somebody's commanding them so uh all in all this uh the guy that I got the quest from who was trying to take uh who's trying to you know assume the power role the mayor role of the town Turns out he was the uh, dirtbag that was kind of controlling the spiders, I think. And uh, I told this guy that he was trying to kill him and set him up, so he came back to town and booted his ass out of here. I didn't get to kill him, which I thought would happen. I thought he would, like, morph into this friggin' spider monster guy and I'd have to kill him, but apparently he's he's ran off somewhere. Maybe he'll turn up later, but... So anyway, I got to buy this house, uh, Gossamer End, it has, you know, blacksmithing table and a sagecraft table in there, where I can make some items for myself, and has a chest where I can store all my crap I don't need, so that's pretty nice. Let's just go ahead and continue this main quest here. Combat roll. I did have some other, uh, let's see if I still have them on me. I don't think I do, but. Oh, I do. So, I got these pretty early, the Fade Blades of Song. You get them from a, um, a guy that is part of, I thought it was the main story, but it's like side quests where you can, the Tawatha. Um, you can kind of go into their town, the little town I was in at least, and they were looking for uh, Sir Sargrel. And I had to go find him, and lo and behold, he was dead in a dungeon somewhere. He got killed by a big boss monster tree thing. I forgot what they are called. Thresher. It's like some sort of Thresher thing. And uh, these Fade Blades of Song were on him. Just show you guys what they look like here. They look pretty sweet. I was using these for a really long time. And, uh, this ability I have. 
just uh, takes a constant like mana pool away, a little small chunk of my mana pool away to have it as a constant effect, but it just adds pretty much a poison dot over time. Um, gives me a chance to apply a poison dot over time effect, rather. So yeah, I was using these for a good amount of time until I found... Uh, actually, it wasn't that long ago that I found the Viper's Fangs. I thought they were daggers at first, but they're actually Fade Blades as well. And uh doesn't have like the chance to stun or um, the 10% physical damage. But all in all, it does have, as you can see, like 13 more damage overall up in the top right there. And uh, has a poison dot as well, which goes well with my ability to add a poison dot, a chance to add it. And uh, it also has a chance to steal some health, so it has like a leech health ability, which I thought was a little better than the the stun and just the overall damage, the little boost that gave it. Which doesn't compare to the, you know, the damage boost overall that the Viper's Fangs have, so they're better anyway. And I'm kind of getting off track here, where am I going? Need to go. Well, I could have went this way, but just trying to like uh, keep you guys updated here. What I did, all what I all did when I wasn't capturing. But um, another thing was I just been kind of exploring around and, like I said, doing all these side quests, trying to get better items. Here's what these spiders look like. Gross looking bastards, but... Pretty easy now. They were kind of a pain once I... started, but... Kill them pretty quick now. Oh shit! Gotten caught in a web. And... Poison isn't pretty... <laughs> Poison probably isn't a good thing to be using against these guys, but I mean they still die relatively quick here. I do have like backup weapons. I mean these guys are vulnerable to fire, so I should be like taking out my chakrams, my fire chakrams, but I kinda have the points invested in like the upgraded Fey Blade and Dagger damage and bows, so whatever. And I have just tons of, like, from finding all these hidden, uh, you know, where I can loot these logs and r pile of rocks and stuff, I just have tons and tons of shards. 